Hello, g'day, and welcome back to View Marty's Coins and Banknotes, a channel where trolls like to come and play. Come and play, please play. I like the life, the taste, the fresh beating heart. Anyway, so we're talking about coins, and today I just have the free 1941 half pennies because I'm doing a half penny series. And if you're bored, just click off. If not, I don't know, write a comment and uh, let me know what half pennies you have. So, 1941 was just an average year. Obviously, it was during the Second World War, but at this time, obviously, France had been defeated, uh, but Europe was a bit quiet down until the Germans decided to invade Russia and the Japanese decided to uh, uh, declare war on the United States, Britain and the Netherlands. So, uh, this coin has a mintage of uh, 5.3 million, and we only have the one type. So all these were minted in Melbourne, so they should have no mint mark. So there's no dot after or before penny. There is no dot after Australia. And usually the kangaroo is quite weak. Uh, it's not like, oh, do I have an Indian penny? I think this is the, yeah, the Indian penny, as you can see, uh, has a lot more definition on the kangaroo. Okay, so the coins I have here are in, yeah, that, I would say it's probably very fine condition. And in this condition, uh, you'll be paying probably two to three dollars. If you want to get it in extremely fine, um, you're probably paying about $10. In uncirculated, you're probably $70, $80. Gem uncirculated, probably at least seven dollars 800 So the most expensive should be about uh, around a $1,000 or a little bit under. That's for probably an MS. 65 or something like that and this coin will probably be a vf 25 or 30 and so what you'll be looking for is errors in these coins and most of these coins have a missing hp so that's the initials of the designer and that is thomas h paget so he's the designer of the effigy of King George VI. And on this side we have the Kruger Grey, which is a KG. And he designed the kangaroo, which is pretty much just the opposite way of the uh, one penny. Oh, well, yes, I do have a one penny. So let's compare them together. Okay, so this is a Elizabeth II. But as you can see, the one penny and the half penny, the kangaroos, are on opposite sides. Okay, and that's the Elizabeth II. We won't worry about that. Okay, so that's a that's a major area you're going to find. And you can find the... So this one looks like it's pretty much disappeared. But I can still see a little bit. So it's probably just a die fuel, that, that type of error. And it does occur with die cracks. Usually die cracks are on the lettering. That's where I find them most. They either go around as die cracks. It joins up to the lettering. Or it goes from the rim inwards. The two types that I have found. Now this one doesn't... Uh, and also, these two ones seem to be a little bit different in uh, the actual fonts they use. Okay, so this one doesn't seem to have any die cracks. The second one, yeah. And all this is just damage on the coin. So nothing special. Get rid of that. And once again, no die cracks on the reverse side. That has the kangaroo on the obverse side, which has the effigy. We have the HA still present. 
and I don't see any die cracks on that sun. But what we have is a lamination problem, which is just a problem with the metal. Looks like it goes up into the HL. That might just be junk on it. But this is probably impurities, uh, metals. So these coins don't like to be in a pure state. So this is a copper, tin, and zinc. Should be. Let me have a look again. Okay, 97% copper, 2.5% zinc, half percent tin. So it's not really a classification of bronze, which is just a tin and copper. And a brass, which is zinc and copper. So it's in between the two. Uh, so they don't like to be in the pure state. They like to form other compounds that are more stable. So probably a copper oxide or something like that. So that's what's happening there and the last coin i have does it have h or well, hp you can quite clearly see it there uh, and there's no errors on that side and also you turn it around you rotate it to see if uh there's any rotation in that coin and I don't see any errors in that one. Oh, well, poor me. But what I want to look at is the fonts on the one. Yeah, they look quite similar. Okay, so just look. And also, you know, you can check to see if, I don't know, any of these eyes go up in between the denticles. Because these ones should all be the same, so the obverse is obverse free, and the reverse is reverse B. So obverse free means there is a hundred and forty-seven denticles. So if you count all these denticles, should be one hundred and forty-seven, and B. Uh, should be 106 denticles so if you want to count them but i am not going to do that simpler way is just to check any of these strokes going up and see if there's any alterations between the coins you see but i don't think there is going to be no one's plenty of people would have done that in the past and i don't think anyone's found any type of variations so we're looking for, okay, so this eye goes towards the denticle. This one, okay, India goes towards the denticle. Uh, imp towards, in between the denticle. So that's what you're looking for. But, you know, I'm not going to do that all day. It does get a bit boring. But if you're interested in looking for errors, this one's probably been clean in the past. Then that's what you need to do. But free coins, it's not really gonna be enough. So I hope this helps you with your half penny coins. 1941, not a bad series. And have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.